what has happened to, to the uh, dialogue in this country since Obama and, and his um, minions have, have taken power? Well, across the board, things, I mean, not even looking on the international level. First of all, we have no respect in the international community now because, especially in the Arab world, all they represent is strength. I mean, all, all they, well, they all, all they see is, yeah, if you have strength and you show that you mean business, this is the only thing they understand. Does Obama telegraph strength of America? Obama does not channel that America is strong and means business. When you see the President of the United States bowing to the King of Saudi Arabia, this sends a message that we are groveling. Um, we need to go back to the way things were. I mean, look, George Bush did not, he ended up, he was what, in office 10 months when 9-11 happened. And I'm really glad that he was in office, no matter what happened. I'm glad he was in office and not a Democrat. I can only imagine that we, let's sit back and let's use restraint. We don't have, this is not a time for restraint. They really only understand military strength. And I think what we're finding is liberals in this country, you know, when they talk about Obama and they're very pro-Obama, we need to vote for him again. And there's no talk of the failure. All of the policies that have failed, we have gas prices. Gas is almost $5 a gallon here. My God, it's never been like this. I'm from New Jersey. And gas is up close to $4 a gallon. And that's where they refine it. And this was a state that's supposedly one of the lowest in the country. And we can go on a trip for a couple of days and come back and gas has climbed 50 cents a gallon. But 